Here's how to force update your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and it's just not updating, maybe you tap the button and it's not going through the process, downloading and installing, I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the first thing we're going to do is head into our settings here. And we need to scroll down a little bit and you can see general. So let's tap on general. And then the second option, software update. So tap on that and you'll be able to see if there is an update available. So you can see I have two different options. I can update now or update tonight. Now, keep in mind when I do go through this update, there are some requirements that might cause it to lag and glitch. The first one is the very top. You can see iOS 18.3 beta. It requires 7.3 gigabytes to be downloaded onto my phone. So let's go back out of here and tap on iPhone storage. One reason why it might potentially not be going through or holding up and you need to force update it is because you don't have enough space here. So you're going to want to check to see if you have enough space to download that specific iOS operating system before it is installed and the old one is deleted. So you don't need permanently need that space, but you temporarily do. Now, if you don't have that space on your phone, you can always just tap on an app here and just delete it or offload it to help free up some space. And that is the first culprit on why some of those might be glitching out and you need to force update. The second one is let's head into a web browser here and we're going to type in speed test. Now, keep in mind, it again needs to download seven gigabytes of data onto your iPhone. So if you have a really slow Internet connection wherever you are, if it's, say, like my case, under 10 megabytes per second, that is really too slow to download it quick enough to be able to install it in real time. So what you're going to want to do is swipe down from the top right, maybe turn on airplane mode just to disconnect and then turn it back off and then check to see and try to get a faster internet connection. That's the second reason. Now, the third reason is your battery life. So let's head into the settings here and go back, back again, and we'll tap on battery. Now on here, what you're gonna check to see is if you have normal battery health here, if it says battery health is normal, and at the very top you have over 50% battery, then you should be good to go to download and install that specific iOS operating system. That's usually a requirement for iPhones that they have 50% battery life or more to be able to do this. If not, just plug in your phone while it goes through that process, and then it should force update to the latest version right now. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.